So you're new to filming or editing? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely crush it and get the best out of your video or filming experience. These are my top seven hacks to get the best out of your video. So get plenty of coverage for the story you're trying to tell. And that's the first tip we're giving here. There's nothing worse than going onto YouTube, searching for something, and then finding a video of someone just talking forever, 20 minutes just straight to camera about a subject or a product or a device that you're looking for. Make sure to get loads of footage and coverage of the device. So if you're reviewing, say, a MacBook Pro, Film the MacBook Pro from loads of different angles, round the front, round the back, the keyboard, the speakers, the screen, show it all off, and then you can play it over you talking and record it as almost a bit of a voiceover. It just makes the whole thing much more interesting. And if you don't have that much B-roll, think about some graphics you can add. Can you add some stats or text or details and things like that? It really makes the whole thing much more interesting. And trust me, if it is just you talking to the camera, it's probably the number one way you're gonna lose viewers from your channel. So get coverage is our first and major number one tip. So the next tip is to make sure you film your subject or your story from lots of different angles. There's nothing worse than seeing just one standard tripod angle for 20, 30 minutes. Think about shooting down low, think of filming up high, using drones, uh, you know, putting your camera down a drain if you've got a GoPro, just little shots that make the entire story much more interesting to use. And I think it shows off your creativity as well. If you're just sitting there with you know, your camera on a tripod for 20 minutes, it doesn't say much about you as a creative. So doing things like this will take you from basic to boss in no time. So the next tip is sound quality. Now most people can get over a little bit of bad video footage, but trust me, no one can get over bad audio quality. So really think about your audio. What can you do to improve it? Now, microphones is the first obvious one. There's lots of really great microphones. You know, we use this lapel mic here and it really helps with the, the room that we're in. But you can also do some other things like improving the acoustics in your room. So put blankets up, if you can get some cheap acoustic panels, and they'll all just take out the, the rattles, the hums, the vibrations from your, your room, which will really help improve your audio. And also, make sure you turn off air conditioning or radios and radiators in rooms as well. And that'll really give your video some really great audio quality. So the next thing to think about is the color and style of your videos. How many times have you seen a video and it just looks flat, dull, and lifeless, or too oversaturated and a bit unrealistic? Now sometimes that's a good thing, but have a think about your video and how your camera films. Some cameras film in quite flat profiles, which is that kind of gray flat profile that you may have seen. And they do that on purpose so that it retains a lot more information and then you can bring out the colors with your own color correction or LUTs that are available everywhere online. So it's worth searching for some great LUTs for your video footage. But just have a think about the color. You know, do the things that you're filming like this top when you're wearing it in real life and you look at it on your screen, does it look how it did in real life? Or can you enhance it even more to bring in the viewers more into your footage, bring them more into your video and your content? And it will really help improve the story you're trying to tell. The next tip is to use your superpower as the editor of the footage you're filming. As the editor, you can have the edit in your mind before you go out filming and really come up with some creative ways of doing transitions and changing the style up during the video. So Andy, who does our videos, will sometimes film transitions with the camera, a sudden swipe down and then a sudden swipe up. And that just gives a really cool look when you're trying to go from one scene to another. It really kind of throws the audience and it really impresses everyone who sees those types of transitions. So what can you do? You know, you can even speed up your editing time by thinking about what you're gonna film, how you're gonna edit, and maybe even speed the process up by editing in a certain order. And I think it also helps you, know, you from uh, forgetting things to put in your video, which can really help tell that story. So make sure to use your superpower as the editor. So the next tips are for filming outside. Okay, so you're thinking it's the middle of the day, it's nice, bright, and sunny, and it's the perfect time to film. Well, you're possibly wrong. It can sometimes be the worst time of the day to film. If the sun is super bright in the sky and there's no cloud cover, you can be really badly overexposed so your model or your presenter can have horrible light cast over their face. The perfect time in most cases is to film early in the morning or sort of later into the afternoon when you get that beautiful golden hour where the sun is lighting up the sky and everything around it. It's not such a harsh direct light. 
You may want to turn the subject around if you do have to film during the middle of the day. So they've got the sun on the back, which really gives them a nice highlight and, and sort of glow around them. And that really helps give you a nice style to your video. Finally, make sure you learn the editing program inside out. There's loads of free tutorials on our channel and other channels out there on YouTube. There's things you can do to speed up your editing, like using an editor's keys cover, but just make sure you really learn how the editing software works. There's nothing worse than getting some great footage and then you bring it into edit and all the cuts and edits look terrible. It can really ruin the flow and the style of your edit. So make sure you learn how to use all of the tools, how to put together a perfect timeline and how to export perfectly for YouTube or other social media channels. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope those little tips are gonna help you get the best out of video. I know some of those are quite obvious, but sometimes I think it helps just having someone just reiterate the main points of filming so you can get the best out of it. Let me know in the comments below what you're filming. You know, link me to your YouTube channel so we can check out what you're doing and let us know what you think of this video. And certainly let me know if you've got any questions because we get back to every single question that's asked to us. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.